I wanted to show you a quick uh, way to reach that bolt, uh, the inside of the uh, injection pump. Um, three quarter inch extension, one of the uh, joints, another extension, another joint, and then of course the 13 millimeter that's on the bolt. Um, this works, it's very simple to do, and you can get to the bolt easily. Also works for this side. Uh, your only other problem, of course, is going to be that low 13 that's in the back there, uh, at the bottom of the pump, which is the one everybody complains about. Um, I'll show you what works for that. Snap-on makes this 13 millimeter wrench. Let me get my finger out of the pit. There you go, see it? And uh, the nice thing about this is it's longer than most wrenches. And uh, I don't know if it's got a partner here who can zoom in on that or not. But um, it reaches that bolt just fine and allows you to just turn it. And then you got to flip it around, turn it some more, flip this around, turn it again, flip it back to this, turn it again. It takes time. But this tool will let you do it. It's the only one I've found so far. Um, other than that, uh, a quick rundown of what I'm doing here with the IP drip timing. Um, I've taken off in here, I've taken off this, the one that's underneath the drip timing tube, and when I took that off, I removed the spring, it's right here, and, uh, and, and this little part here. I forget what it's called off the top of my head, but it's right underneath the spring. Take a little uh, needle nose, just pull it out. That's all that needs to come out. Um, once you do that, um, you just connect your vacuum going down to the uh, pump and uh, wire it so that it's at full throttle. You see how I got it opened up all the way? And I got kind of got it tied off over here. Um, then of course the last step is to uh, set your harmonic balancer so that it's reading at 24 degrees before top dead center. Uh, and make sure that your uh, cam lobes up here are, you know, like bunny ears. One's facing this way and one's facing this way up. That'll mean that you're in the right area. Uh, if they are not up, you're 180 out and you need to turn the engine over one more time until they are up and you're back at your number. Uh, real simple. Getting all of this set up, as you see in this picture, took me about 15 minutes. Um, I know a lot of people complain about doing drip timing. It's not that difficult. If you have the tools and uh, you've ran through it once before. Uh, let me see if there's anything else I can think of. As far as the timing goes on the engine, uh, again, the manual says 24 degrees before top dead center. It also says plus minus one, uh, which would make it, of course, 23 or 25. Um, there is a lot of people talking in the forums about doing 26, even 27. Um, today, I am going to do it at 26, uh, only because at 24, I'm still showing a little teeny bit of gray smoke, which means that it is retarded. Um, and that was with a perfect drip. So, 26, hopefully it'll advance it enough where uh, uh, I don't have any more smoke. And uh, we will see when I'm done. All right.